good morning. Good morning. Welcome to um, morning prayer here this Saturday on May 2nd with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. So glad that you're able to join Tom and I this morning. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to your Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Well, our psalm today on this Saturday is Psalm 114. Hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from the people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like little like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back. Your mountains that you skipped like rams. You little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flint stone into a flowing spring. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and spirit. Make all those who you, whom you have called to walk in the splendor of the new light render your fitting service and adoration. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Well, we're back to seeing the Israelites today. Uh, and we're in chapter 25, beginning with verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the people of Israel that they take for me an offering. For every man whose heart makes him willing, you shall receive the offering for me. And this is the offering which you shall receive from them, gold, silver, bronze, blue, and purple, and scarlet stuff, and fine twisted linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins, goat skins, acacia wood, all, uh, oil for the lambs, spices for the anointing oil, and from the fragrant incense, onyx stones, and stones for setting, for the ephod, and for the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell in their midst, according to all that I show you concerning the patterns of the tabernacle and all its furniture, that you shall make it. They shall make it uh, make an ark of the acacia wood. Two cubits and a half shall be its length, a cubit and a half its breadth, and a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold, within and without shall be overlay it. And you shall make upon it a molding of gold round about. And, and you shall cast four rings of gold for it, and put them on its four feet, two rings on the one side and two, uh, of it, and two rings on the other side of it. You shall make poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. And you shall uh, put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, to carry the ark by them. The poles shall remain in the, ar in the rings of the ark. They shall not be taken from it. And you shall put into the ark the testimony which I gave you. Then you shall make a mercy seat pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be its length, and a cubit and a half its breadth. And you shall make two cherubims of gold, of hammered work shall you make them, on the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherubim on one end, and a, and a cherub on the other end. And the one piece with the mercy seat shall be made by the cherubim on its two ends. The cherubim shall spread out its wings above, 
and overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings, their faces one to another. Toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be, and you shall put the mercy seat on the, on the top of the ark, and the ark you shall put the testimony that I shall give you. There I, shall, I will meet with you, and from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that, uh, that are upon the ark of the testimony, I will speak with you of all that I will give you in the commandment of the people of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. How oh, beautiful. Can you just imagine how gorgeous that was? Our New Testament reading comes from Colossians, the third chapter, beginning with the first verse. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you, uh, for you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, whom you, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, fornication, impurity, passion, evil, desire, covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of, the, of these, the wrath of God is coming. In, the, in these you once walked when you lived in, in them, but now put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and full talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old nature with its practices and have put on the new nature, which is being renewed in knowledge above the image of its creator. Here there cannot be Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free men, but Christ is all and in all. Put on them, and put on, put on then as God's chosen one, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience, forbearing one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called to the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thanksgiving in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But and now in these last days, days he, he has spoken to us by his Son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation for the forgiveness of, of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, by the waters of baptism, you give new life to the faithful. May we not succumb to the influence of evil, but remain true to your gift of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your holy blessings upon our nation and upon each one of us. Help us, Lord, to walk in your ways and to praise you in all that we do. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct our, us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who Lord, art in Amen. heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy name. Thy Amen. kingdom come. Amen. Thy will be done on Amen. earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I this morning, this Saturday morning. Uh, we begin a new week tomorrow. We, we start Easter 4 uh, and hope that you will join us. And of course, you will see us at, at our regular weekly worship service also on our YouTube. So uh, have a great day and uh, a blessed day and God be with you. Bye bye. <laughs>